What is up you guys? Welcome back to my channel. My name is Amanda Jewel and if you are new here, hello! Go ahead and subscribe for more college and quarantine content, yeah? Today I am bringing you guys a how I edit my YouTube videos video meta. Basically, I have received comments and DMs asking how I edit my videos and it's kind of hard to explain it over text. So that's why I decided to make this video. I'm definitely not the best at editing, but these are some things I've learned over the past couple of years. Yeah, I'm supposed to be writing an essay right now, but I was like, what better than to film a YouTube video? You know? Okay, I pull up, hop out at the after party. Okay, so first I open up my Final Cut Pro and I already have the videos in here, but just to show you how I import my videos, after I take them off of the SD card, I put them all in a folder on my desktop and then I just highlight them and drop them into here. But I'm not going to do that because I already did that. I basically use my space bar to hit play and pause so that way you don't have to like keep clicking play and pause you just hit your space bar um, another shortcut I learned is command B cuts your video so you can just cut the video with that command and hit delete and it's out of here so basically my first step to any video after importing the clips <laughs> is to go through and do a, a, like a rough edit. The rough edit just gets out any mistakes I have or any part of the video that I just don't want anymore. So let's do it. And then if you accidentally delete something, Command Z will get it back for you. You'd be surprised how many mistakes I have. I mean, maybe you wouldn't be surprised. Maybe you're even like, this is a mistake and why are you still talking to me? I don't know. But also, if you are interested in starting a YouTube channel, I have blog posts on how to start a successful YouTube channel and how to grow your YouTube channel in 2020. And then I also have a YouTube video. So I will link all those resources down below in case this is the first video that you came upon. But if you're here from those content pieces, then hey, what is up? Someone's staring at me right now because I'm in my window with a light and a camera and there's so many walkers because did you know that quarantine equals we're all freaking athletes now yeah okay so sometimes I talk really slow um I don't know what it is about filming but my thought processes are just a lot slower <laughs> so if that's the case you can select the video clips and go up here and do a custom speed and if you bump it up 10% if you know me, you know that it I doesn't sound know. odd it just sounds like your brain was working at a normal pace Amanda okay. then I have a YouTube file on my desktop that basically just has a bunch of edits I reach for or copyright free music that I found that I want to keep or any like graphics that I want to keep so I have this writing of my name and I always drop it in right where I'm like and like right now and I also have a subscribe doodle I'm going to sound effects computer mouse and put it right where it starts so but yeah so that's how you put pictures on top of the pictures is you just drag them in and you put them on top of this bar because this is your main video clip if that makes sense my computer sounds like it's like hopping the studio share, but it's okay <sighs> to show you guys how i color grade i don't color grade for everything but if the lighting is good enough I will so I'm going to put look grade from my titles on top of all my videos then over here in installed effects which is like this grab the color board and pull it over into my look grade 
So from there, I have a screenshot of a different tutorial and it shows me approximately where the colors. So basically, I watched Hannah Mott's, um, I hope that's right, <laughs> Hannah's video of how she edited her videos and, and she talked about this way of color grading, which is a tutorial from an, this person <laughs> and watching that and downloading his packet helps achieve this and much more. I definitely do like a watered down version of actual color grading. You open up your color board and go to color right there. Okay. Now you take your master down to 27. So you can just pull down on your mouse to go down 20 and you can go up or you could literally drag it down. Then the shadows are going to go to 175. They go up to 49. And then the midtones go all the way over to orange and they go up. The highlights go all the way over to pink and they go down without color grading, with color grading, without color grading, with color grading. Now I'm going to go to saturation, play around. Next, what I do, especially at the beginning, is I have a little transition, basically just like a spacer for, for cutting to the next scene. So this is a loading please wait screen wanted to mention these are my new blue light glasses i have two pair love them both from sohost vision um slash sohost glasses i will link them down below i also have a coupon code for 15 percent off i think hopefully it's still effective while you're watching this but um yeah i have been staring at a screen for 10 to 12 hours a day so especially editing youtube videos i'm wearing my blue light glasses now this paper image right here and I'm going to put this 06 film filter on the paper. I'm going to put a basic text so I just like using basic because it's basic. Right here you go up here hit this and you can change what the basic title says. Mine's going to say skincare routine bold oblique increase the font i'm going to do a little bit of tracking what style of font i want let's see if we can change the color to not look so ugly oh my god my computer is literally making such a loud noise and it's so hot so let's just do that break it thematic music it's the app dot hello the thematic hello thematic i don't know I'm going to log in as a creator. Maybe my computer's freaking out because I literally have all those tabs open, but like I don't want to hear it. You can go to browse music. All these songs are copyright free as long as you follow their instructions on how to properly credit the song. So I just go through these and kind of figure out what I want. I can hit download. And then right here, this is where you would copy all the... You can add them to projects. Anyway, finding music takes forever. And I usually just find songs that I like and then I repeat those songs a lot. Okay, so now I'm going to take that music and put cross dissolve on the song. It's a little trick that I use to make it fade into the song. So basically I go through and I finish editing all of this and I put in spacers and titles and then I wait for my boyfriend to get here and I use his iPad to do my doodles because uh, my iPad doesn't do cute doodles but his does. <laughs> so I use his. <laughs> so I got through with my rough edit and, and now I am going to go in and just show you guys some effects that I use sometimes. Okay, so go to shift. C, and it brings up crop which means that you can literally crop what you're looking at you can do Ken Burns and Ken Burns is what literally everyone started doing after Emma Chamberlain and that's when it zooms in on your face 
The next effect that you can use on either text or on actual videos is the bad TV. So if I put that on the skincare, it moves it. So let's go back to the title and put bad TV on here, our little movie thing, and you can make the amount go down so that it's not as intense. I'm going to screenshot pictures out of the video that could be my thumbnail. So what I do is I just expand the screen and I posed for this specifically, but I'm going to screenshot only the picture part. So I'm going to screenshot this. And I have a ending page that I made on Photoshop so at the end of all my videos I just input this picture that I can have the little subscribe circle on and a watch this and suggest another video for them to watch. Well I'm going to change the song for the ending. So now I'm going to show you what internet sites I use. So I'm going to show you if I wanted to download an effect off of YouTube. So I go to YouTube and I search green screen video effect. Basically green screen means that you can like put it on your video and it will become that. I have this one but I'm going to show you how I download it. So I'm going to copy that and then I'm going to search YouTube to mp4. They also do mp3 but it's fine. These websites are definitely not safe, probably could give you a virus. So you convert the video to mp4 and hit download and see a random page pops up and that's just not normal. So anyway, disregard that. Drag your film effect over the video clips you want. Come over to your effects. Look up here, here. I don't even know. But now you can see it. Hello, welcome back to a different setting on a different day. Wait, same setting, different day. <laughs> I finally got the iPad. This is the iPad Pro 11 thing. And I have opened up Procreate to start making my doodles. So how I do that is I just start going through my video after it's done editing and I just play it and then I stop whenever there's a part that I need to write about. I'm gonna take it off the background color. I'm gonna make it white. And I'm on a pencil right now. I like going to, oh, I usually go to inking. Here we can adjust the size of the brush. So let's just write. So when I've got my doodle, I go up here and I share, it has a PNG, and I open AirDrop. And then I just AirDrop to my MacBook. I just drag it onto here and then I do the transform little button up there, make it smaller, put it over where I want it. Now I'm just going to go through and do this to every part that needs it. Okay, so I've officially finished editing this self-care skincare video so make sure to go check it out if you want to see what it really looks like. I just basically uh, export it into my desktop and then from there it's kind of have to spend 12 hours uploading to YouTube because uh, my Wi-Fi sucks. Forgot we were doing a thumbnail. So I open up Photoshop, I create new, 1280 by 720 pixels, I take the screenshots that I took earlier and I just drag them into the Photoshop and I start moving it around, pull this one above that, pull that over here, oh it looks good. So now I'm just going to export this as a PNG or a JPEG, just kidding. And then you open up, get my iPad ready. I will airdrop this to the iPad. And now let's go to Procreate. And over here we're going to add a photo. And we get to put in this. Ta -da. 
So now I just hit the draw and I'll start drawing on it. Okay, I think I'm done with it. Look, it looks so cute. Okay, but on the real, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope this was helpful and I am glad to finally make this video because I've wanted to for a really long time, but it takes a lot of work and I bet you it's taken me a really long time to edit it. So make sure to subscribe, like this video, comment down below if it was helpful and I'll see you all in the next one. Goodbye.